Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today, and welcome back to month 3 of our Ghostbusters 2020 watch. This is the video series that recaps all the monthly Ghostbusters 2020, aka Ghostbusters 3 news, that happens each month. And this time, we're looking at all the news from March 1st to March 31st, all about that upcoming Jason Reitman Ghostbusters film. March was overall a little slower than the past two months, but some very, very big things happened here, and the movie is definitely starting to take form. If you're behind in all the Ghostbusters 2020 news, make sure to check out February's video, which had a lot of big info. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe, since we're doing this for at least another year and then some. Now, let's get started with all of March's news. In our last video, we actually talked a little about this news piece since it happened right on March 1st, but this time we can go into a little more detail. On that day, Entertainment Weekly reported that Finn Wolfhard and Carrie Coon were in talks to star in the film. That same report also revealed that most of the plot details we thought we knew about the film so far were wrong. According to Entertainment Weekly, the new Ghostbusters movie would focus on a single mother and her family. Keyword on focus on the mom as the lead figure. This doesn't mean the kids won't have a large focus, but this sounds a little bit more like Stranger Things than it did before. A prime example being Joyce and her family issues on that show. Speaking of, most folks already know Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, so we've seen him in a jumpsuit at Proton Pack already, and he looks pretty darn good sporting that. On March 6th, Ernie Hudson once again came into the spotlight, as he has every month so far since this series began. Deadline wrote a report about Hudson making a guest appearance on the CW's Arrow, which also listed him as appearing in the new Ghostbusters movie. Ernie immediately denied it on Twitter, and Deadline eventually amended the article. Chances are high he will still appear in the film, but as of now, parties involved have nixed his involvement in it. On March 10th and 11th, some new crew was named to join GB2020. HN Entertainment announced on the 10th the addition of art director Tom Retta and visual effects supervisor Sheena Duggan, while cinematographer Eric Stielberg was added to the team one day later, with the news revealed by Discussing Film. Retta worked on Cabin in the Woods, Transformers The Last Night, Zoolander 2, Fifty Shades of Grey, and most recently Rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Duggan has worked on The Hunger Games, Men in Black 2, and many Marvel movies, including Thor The Dark World, Doctor Strange, Venom, Iron Man 3, Spider-Man 3, and the Agent Carter TV series. Steelberg has worked with the Reitman since 2007, starting with Juno, and has been with him for essentially every one of his films. His next movie is Dolomite Is My Name, which stars Eddie Murphy. March 12th brought another casting rumor, as that hashtag show got the exclusive scoop that Jenna Ortega may be joining the cast. Ortega is best known for her work on Jane the Virgin and Stuck in the Middle, and recently joined the cast of the Netflix series You. She's up for the role that is currently named Teen Girl, which is an ambiguous name, but what are you going to do? Who that could be and whether or not that's the lead character is also still to be determined. That same report also gave us some previously unseen character breakdowns, which once again caused some confusion, as the previously discussed Intelligent Girl character, as it was titled, says distinctly, this role is the true lead of the movie. Back when Ghostbusters 2020 news first began coming out, this part was who everyone thought the entire film was centered on. I think the safest assumption to make at this point is that Carrie Coon's mom and this teen girl are part of the same family, so they will be the focal points of everything. We'll get back to that in a little bit though. Two days later on March 14th, Entertainment Tonight posted a video with J.K. Simmons and discussed the new movie, which he was also excited to talk about. Simmons said he knew everything about it, but may have been joking around when he said that, since his lips were sealed regarding any other information. Now I can talk about it. He, uh, the, You've known for a while, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see, you know, what, what he's going to do with it. Simmons has worked with Reitman before on multiple projects, starting with Juno, and again in The Front Runner, as well as being the narrator in Young Adult, just to name a few of the works they've collaborated on. In my opinion, Simmons would be a very welcome addition to the growing cast, and it would be great to see him demand more pics of Spider-Man. On March 22nd, a hearse collector posted something online announcing he had sold a 1959 Futura to Sony for filming. He posted a picture as he dropped the car off and wrote, That's the Ecto-1A in the foreground. It will be redone for close-up scenes, the 61 will be cut in half for interior shots, and mine will be a driving stunt car. The Cadillac Miller Meteor is a very rare car from 1959, and most of its fame has come from being in Ghostbusters. The original Ecto-1 was restored some years back and currently is retired, living the good life on the Sony lot. The acquisition of some new cars for the film, especially saying that one will be a driving slash stunt car, means the Ecto-1 may see some action in the new film, but again, until we actually see any of this stuff happen, it's all just hearsay. But fingers crossed that someone's going to get in the front seat of that car and drive that around to Spook Central. 
On March 25th, our friends at HN Entertainment once again got some news. Wish we knew how they were getting all these scoops. That said that filming would indeed happen in Calgary over the summer, and that the film was expected to wrap shooting on October 11th. Last month we reported about this as a rumor, but we're glad to see this has now turned into fact. I'm sure the Calgary Ghostbusters are pretty excited about this too. Confirmation of this also makes things more concrete that this movie is going to take the Ghostbusters out of the city and into a more rural, quiet area. Finally, on March 29th, we got a big update to some earlier news of the month that we talked about, as the Hollywood Reporter announced that indeed, the rumored stars we've been talking about for the past two months were all in. Carrie Coon, Finn Wolfhard, and Grace McKenna were officially cast members in the film. Jason Reitman confirmed it later on Twitter, saying, meet the family, meaning this trio would be our main focal point of the film. So that's all the news for March 2019, and while it was not necessarily as busy as the previous two months, we got some very, very big pieces of info. It'll be interesting to see how it continues to shape up, but things are certainly moving quickly, and with a few months to go until they start filming, I expect the news to start piling up big time in April and May. I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel, where we have plenty of other videos you might like too. Thanks for watching, we'll see you for more Ghostbusters news in 30 days. On a somber note to close this month, we're dedicating this video to the memory of Larry Dottilio, who passed away on March 16th. Larry was a writer on the Real Ghostbusters cartoon, writing You Can't Teach an Old Demon New Tricks in 1990 and Dairy Farm in 1987. Aside from the RGB, you may remember his work on other popular shows from that era, as well as beyond, including Masters of the Universe and She-Ra, Rock and Wrestling, Bionic 6, Beast Wars Transformers, Babylon 5, and many other things. We offer a five-siren salute to this contributor to the world of Ghostbusters and a big part of many of our childhoods.